Hello everybody, welcome to the final week six game of Division One. We've got Error BB, we've got Squiggy1981 and his shattered remnants of a team versus Tapioca King with the new best orc team in the division maybe. He seems to, it started off worse than Sick as Eggs but now, you know, I think with Sick having players injured, um, I th you know, this is kind of more. He's still lacking a bit, right? He hasn't got the strength, he hasn't got the dodge. Hasn't got a lot of tackle, but you know there's a there's a lot of basic skills, right? A lot of mighty blow, a lot of guard, very very TV efficient. Um, <laughs> Rock nails the rookie mummy. This this strength six mummy is amazing, particularly against orcs. Still got a pommer. Still got decent ghouls. This one it isn't movement nine anymore, but it's still decent. So still got two decent ghouls. But yeah, obviously you don't want you don't want three loner zombies on your team. <laughs> and he's got a bribe as well. It's pretty rough, isn't it? Three loner zombies flip me, flip flipping me. That shows you how utterly destroyed his team was. <laughs> Is this a GFI? No. Should have blitzed with block though, shouldn't he? To uh, knock him over. Yes, yeah, I did see that this one is a skeleton up here, but um, you know, I still call them zombies as if, as if it were, you know, as if they were good players. <laughs> I know, I know, Rick prefers skeletons, but he's wrong. <laughs> Wait, that's not what I would have done. So, I think the player here was to block this guy. I guess you can just block him and not follow. So, you've, now you've got to power him to blitz this guy, right? You want to blitz the ghoul here with Tackle Palmer. I guess you can blitz the Tackle Palmer with your own Tackle Palmer. But I really like blitzing a ghoul with Tackle Palmer. Yeah, power, not follow. But a push, he could have pushed and followed and then could have blitzed from up here. So that this, this guard going in here stopped the blitz, potentially. But now the follow stops the blitz. So now we're blitzing a rookie, a rookie zombie instead of a ghoul. And I much prefer to blitz the ghoul. But you know, you're 75% to knock him over instead of 55, but I just think ghouls are so good that pretty good to do it. Oh, agreed, agreed re-roll. Which is kind of understandable, right? He's, he's up against it. He is up against it. He's going to try and score quick. I think he probably has to. <laughs> Again, similar to his last game, and you know, like you, you've kind of got to score quick, otherwise you're not going to score at all. But then you score quick and lose anyway. So like, it's it's pretty rough. Whatever you do, really. I think this guy shouldn't have gone in, right? He should have gone. He should have gone one back. He's now just going to get punched. If he'd gone one back, and then this guy had come over to here, something, then you've got like a line of players. That you can't base them all and can't hit them all. Oh, we're dealing with a strength six here. And yeah, now this guy's four. Cheeky cars. He's chasing the ball. I think I'd have kept him back and sent the line off chasing after the ball. Oh. Oh. 
But now the line all comes back right to attack this ghoul. Nope. I mean, it isn't easy because the the uh, the blizzard is stopping the pass play, isn't it? Otherwise, you could just desperation run forward, lob it to this guy. But okay, yeah, blitz him free. Hit from the wrong direction, however. Gets away with it by rolling a pal. I guess you dodge through here, eh? Yeah. As much as a 4-3 dodge sucks. I don't hate trying to dodge through here to like make it a, a quick pass. But there you go, makes the uh, makes the longer pass with an interceptor tap chance. Gets the touchdown. It did inaccurate scatter to a catch, yeah. Yeah, he rolled a three, didn't he, on the re-roll. I did I did notice that, I just wasn't that impressed. <laughs> but yeah, he rolled a one, three on the re-roll, and then it scattered around and he caught it. Sometimes things like that I find hilarious, and then but this time I just didn't. My bad. <laughs> so now ten players for the undead. But only 11 for the Orcs. Oh, I guess that's another reason why the Orcs aren't so good here, if they haven't got as much of a bench. But again, very TV efficient. Yes, a 4 plus pass is slightly more than 75 here. Yep. Yeah, like that ludicrous sequence in the last game of picking it, uh, scattering the ball out, and then all the throw-ins. You know, it does happen sometimes, and catching a scattered pass isn't that ridiculous. Like, you know, the chance of a scatter falling back onto the uh, intended recipient isn't too low. Don't remember what it is, but it's not ridiculous. Maybe ten percent or whatever. Maybe not that high, but it's it's not terrible. Maybe it's more like five percent. Here we go, mummy blitz. Get him amongst all those fellas. Shame the other mummy doesn't have guard to back him up, but he got he got cast and got killed. This guard has got to come in here, I think, to protect the strength six. Oh, he's just going to foul with him, yeah. Fair enough, he does have dirty player as well. I would treat him more as a as a guard zombie than a dirty player zombie, but Squiggy does like to uh, does like to DP him. <laughs> Big fan of DP. <laughs> This is a little bit dangerous, isn't it? I like that he's got the, I like that he's got the line here. Try to do something, but this is mostly just going to be taking blocks and hurting people. Doesn't follow. I think I would have followed there. If you follow, then you can block there, and then you then you uh, push him away, right? You can push him away. And then you can get a 2D blitz on the strength 6. Which is pretty good. It's pretty good, you know, 2 dice in strength 6. Especially for the pom. Like, all you guys are there anyway. Like, the whole twat magnet thing. It doesn't really hold weight when your whole team's already in contact with him. <laughs> so I think I would have uh, yeah, got that extra little bit of contact. To 
go for pumping the mummy. Not going for a surf here. Is it already, uh, already? You'd have had to dodge. I guess if he dodges, he can hit the ball, can't he? So, is he going to go for the dodge ball hit here? No. Oh, can this guy do it? He might have been able to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Three plus dodge for a uh, one day on the ball. Wouldn't have been terrible. Wouldn't have been good either, obviously, but... He's at the point where he's... This is a nice foul, isn't it? Really nice to get a two-assist foul here. But now... Blitz a gap. There's not that many turns left, surely, because the uh, Undead have already scored. And there's a bit of time, quite a bit of time left, actually. But with no GFIs allowed in the snow, I do want to get as far forward as possible here, so. I quite like this. I, I prefer, like, you could have just put in two guards and, uh, like, you know, he could have got a blitz, but I think this is better. Much better to make a break now. Whew. That's uh, that's pretty rowdy. I think without block, hey, he stood just stands up anyway. So obviously, he definitely should have stood first before making the block. But with just block, with with him not having block, I think standing him up first. If I make the block is better, right? Because you're not going to reroll. Then you don't have to reroll both down. But with him, st with him being still down, rerolling the block seems more likely. But I would have stood him up first. Time. Wow. Like to think I would have done. I think that's the right play. I, I shouldn't say that. That's not what I would do because obviously I would do. Things. Mm. Well, here we go. We go for the GFI and get a push. Well, I think that's fair enough. I think it's obviously not as good now as the previous turn. If you're going to go for the uh, hit, 1D should have done last turn, and it was two dodges instead of a GFI. And obviously not getting surfed in response is good. But, um, you know, desperation is fair enough, isn't it? I think I'm touch. Even then, I think, you know, because it's a 1 in 9 to fail, just do the dodge first, I think is fine. But again, just like, just preference, isn't it, at the end of the day. They've both got their pros and cons of just going for the hit first. But if I'm going for the hit first, then I think I just stand them up. Gets the serve. back. Still got two turns. Ah, I actually hate, hate this. I would have much preferred to stand here. Because okay, he can uphill you. But this guy can uh, dodge GFI smash. <laughs> Which uh, isn't great, is it? doesn't bother. That, to be fair, that would have been the uphill. That would have been the uphill. <laughs> and he could have, he could have uphilled actually, right, the wrestler, the wrestler could have run in an uphill. By standing there. Here we go, finally getting to tackle upon that guy. Ah, 
Pardon. Diced. Diced only a KO. But I mean, that's good enough, isn't it? Not actually diced. Not actually diced. Just a hilarious bit of comedy. Well, the whole team down is pretty good. Dodge foul on the uh, dirty player, I would think would be okay. I'd really like to get rid of this guy just because, you know, he's got guard. I think I might have put that guy up here. And then I uh, fouled him with an assist. I guess you've got no reserves of your own, have you? Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking of these fouls, but I'm thinking it's like a, a normal orc team that would have uh, one or two reserves at this point. <laughs> it's pretty wild it being an 11-man orc team. Yeah, being 11-man, don't foul. Yeah, okay. Fair enough, 11-man 11, 11 orcs do not foul. potentially foul now, right, with it being the final drive, so regen isn't a consideration. Also, I'd have had this guy one further forward, so we could blitz this guy and come back a square. One, two, three, four, five, six. See, I didn't count any squares. But I thought one square forward, let him blitz and go back one. <laughs> and then, you know, if you get both down, you pile on. And if you pile me, you go back one. Holy shit, he's got a ghoul on the LOS. I did not see the ghoul on the LOS. In that case, I would have just put the tacker on the LOS to, to bomb this guy off the LOS. <laughs> <laughs> it's do it's not so bad on offense, Tapioca King. On offense, putting your Pommer on the LOS is all right. <laughs> there you go. Hello, man, kids. This ancient game, yeah, Blood Bowl Two. Back when Blood Bowl games were good. Oh wow, look at this. The disrespect. We're gonna level. Well, not level. Get SVPs on a rookie Black Oak. Outrageous. Outrageous. Cheeky greed reroll. Jam the strength six. I mean it's really good. The strength six mummy is really good for these bash games. Like it's so good. It's like having like a shit mold, isn't it? It's unbelievable. It's actually unbelievable how good that mummy is. Versus orcs. Super good. I think he might be getting pommed this turn though. I think. No, no, might might be pumming a ghoul instead, or even blitz the air uh, pommer so you can't get pommed by his pommer. This is a pretty tough turn actually. There's lo lots of options here. Can stand him up and two D him, and then uh, so yeah, we've got mum pumming mummy, pumming this ghoul, pumming this ghoul, or pumming this uh, pommer. Maybe pom the pommer because confident of winning the match, whatever happens. So pom the pommer to. Uh, Reduce attrition chances. I mean, definitely not this. <laughs> that could have been a pile. That could have been a pile. I guess it's alright, isn't it? 
sensible. The problem here is that it's just been a one day now. And an uphill. Flip me. There's the dragon strap, smashing people with strength six. Glorious. That's a very rowdy greed reroll. Very rowdy. I don't think it gains enough to be worth greed rerolling -roll, re even. They maybe just hit the guy on the outside and hold, hold the outside. Because this strength six is like stopping any kind of reverse around here. Well, the strength six and the, and the blizzard. So just blitz this guy and, and then go back up here. And hold the line, I think it's probably better. It's interesting though, because you know the undead have got to get lucky basically still. Down two players and that. Both down one now. No, no, eight, so they're still down two. The Dream gets the uh, Strength 6 tagged up onto a rookie lino. Well, not rookie, but only blocks. That's a great trade. Great trade for Tapioca King. Now this guy's totally marginalised. But you see, now you see the importance of holding that flank, right? If he'd, if he'd held the flank with a mummy... Then, uh, it would have been better for not. <laughs> there we go, the little black orc can run forward now and just carry teeing off on the old on the, uh, on the undead gotta gotta blitz this this ghoul here Gotta not let this mummy get on a get on a different uh, orc. Oh, this mummy! I mean, it's great. Board mummies are on a on a rubbish line, or aren't they? Don't like the. Oh no, okay, I do like that move. So I don't like this one. A fouling, but yeah, you've got to have somebody in the way. Kind of... I'd have also piled. I'd have also greedily piled. I think. And this is better, obviously, because now it's a five. Three and it's just like it's way better to do this for losing the game. But I think I probably I think I would have piled even though this is correct. <laughs> and then I'd have been like, ah, I shouldn't have piled. Because it can it could it was a pile that could have cost you the game. But I think it's how do you not pile on a ghoul, right? Like how do you not pile on a ghoul, especially a move up ghoul? Like he's up here, even if he gets through this. Oh well, he does get through it all. <laughs> so, he did make all the dodges to get there <laughs> and fail the GFI. Flip me. <laughs> Well, you say that, but he didn't get there. He didn't actually get there, did he? How the money is good. How did you fail? You had to fail the GFI. <laughs> People can't make GFIs in the blizzard, it's alright. Wait, that wasn't a foul? You gotta be joking me! How do you not foul there? Did you take pity on him? 
Did you fucking take pity on him? He's a tackle bomber. Stomp the shit out of the bastard. <laughs> what? Collusion. Collusion. <laughs> that tackle bomber might hurt my players now. <laughs> you know, you could have fouled this tackle bomber, killed him, and then when I play, then when I play Squiggy on the last day of the season, he hasn't got a tackle bomber. How dare you not foul him? <laughs> I hope he kills your dirty player. Now it'd be a hundred percent deserved. This is justice. Oh please, please game, please. <laughs> Diced, never lucky. <laughs> I guess this gets you a pump button. What? I don't even pump first! Get out of town. <laughs> Could have pumped a gal. 3D pumping of a gal. Outrageous. Outrageous. <laughs> well, there you go. Pretty clean. Pretty clean win for the Orcs, wasn't it? Didn't take, didn't take anything. I don't even think they took a KO. <laughs> Did they even take a stun? <laughs> Did they even take a stun? Oh, prepare for tragedy. Rock killing a mummy on turn 16. That's, that's, that's what we want to see. The strength 6 one, obviously. Who, no one cares about the rookie. Oh, okay. A riot. Ooh. Oh, are we going to see like a GFI to score fail or something? This is very interesting. So it could be a 2 2. It could be a 2 2 draw. <laughs> Maybe won't be a 2 2 draw. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What's going to happen? The dirty player gets killed. Dub skulls. That's Blood Bowl alright, isn't it? That is Blood Bowl. A blood Bowl, in a nutshell, you're getting punched in the dick and then you just get it even worse. There you go. Flip me, Alo Sata. Four AV bricks, wow. Yeah, it didn't seem like the Orcs got anybody, anybody removed at all. Uh, oh, they did get one KO. Uh, oh yeah, 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 the, K the big mummy KO'd the Black Orc, didn't it, yeah. Yeah, I remember that happening now. Um, well, there you go. More hor horrible pain. Can I have a look at the leaderboard? Because this was the last one. So this is the leaderboard after six games. Um, so, yeah, congrats to Tapioca King. Commiserations to Squiggy. But, you know, Squiggy had the, the joy of the second season, right? Where he won with Undead. Undefeated in the second season. Won, 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 won Division 1 in Season 2, so he's, he's got that going for him. But uh, really bad for Chavita. Chavita is looking out of it now for the um, for the top three, right? He's so far behind. He's looking out of it for the top three. Um, so he's going to have to struggle. And he's, you know, it could be a struggle to get in the top eight as well. He's He's got to take over PK83 and somebody else to get into the top eight. So this is going to be a battle for Chavita over the last five games. And... Uh, 
Eliot and myself looking glorious at the top of the league there with 2,220 TV. <laughs> but, you know, this is the thing. The matches are all very competitive. You know, there's, there's hardly anything between the top five and then only a little bit more between the top seven. So anything can happen. Um, you know, anything can happen in the results to... Uh, anybody can win any game, really. Like it, Obviously, Drac and Squiggy haven't done so well, but anybody can win any of the games in the, in the top division. So it's going to be interesting to see you know what happens it's because you know three only three buys is uh not very much <laughs> five into three doesn't go does it so some people are going to be uh not heartbroken mildly disappointed <laughs> right <laughs> thanks for watching everyone don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic